So what's up everyone? Welcome back to your channel, Brighter Life Institute. I am Alicia. A survey was done globally involving many women. The survey is regarding what they think about men. And what came out was that 95% of women found most guys unattractive, unstylish, with bad manner and, and bad attitude. Some of the guys out there have been made aware of this result as well and how they justify the result about not looking at the roots of the problems is to put blame on the dating app and on women that the dating app are glorifying women and giving them too much attention so now the women are getting too big-headed and reporting this thing about men well I'm going to be neutral for both gender I researched the foundation of the result I investigated most the major dating app and what do you have found many of the dating app have more men than women in it many of the women profile many of them are fake they were created by the site himself to attract the guys in but the reality is in those dating app there are more men than women another thing i noticed is the bad attitude disrespectful of many of those guys that are in those dating app some of them have evil behavior of very abusive behavior toward the woman they match with they have no manner some of them don't even say hello they straight away say that they want fun and sex some of those guys have watched too much of this red pill this red pill mindset raised with this Andrew Tate guy that applaud the guy to be violent, abusive to women because of X, S, Z reason. I will say that I recognize that some women out there are not very good, but so are the guy. So putting all women in over in the same bucket you guys need to wonder if this is really the reality for many women out there but to get back to the subject of this video so what's up everyone welcome back to your channel brighter life institute i am elicia a survey was done globally involving many women the survey is regarding what they think about men and what came out was that 95 percent of women found most guys unattractive unstylish with bad manner and and bad attitude some of the guys out there have been made aware of this result as well and how they justify the result about not looking at the roots of the problems is to put blame on the dating app and on women that the dating app a glorifying woman and giving them too much attention so now the women are getting too big-headed and reporting this thing about men well I'm gonna be neutral for both gender I researched the foundation of the result I investigated most the major dating app and what do you have found many of the dating app 
have more men than women in it. Many of the women profile, many of them are fake. They were created by the site himself to attract the guys in. But the reality is, in those dating apps, there are more men than women. Another thing I noticed is the bad attitude, disrespectful, of many of those guys that are in those dating apps. Some of them have evil behavior, of very abusive behavior toward the woman they match with. They have no manner. Some of them don't even say hello. They straight away say that they want fun and sex. Some of those guys have watched too much of this red pill. This red pill mindset raised with this Andrew Tate guy that applaud the guy to be violent, abusive to women because of X, S, Z reason. I will say that I recognize that some women out there are not very good. But so are the guy. So putting all women in over in the same bucket, you guys need to wonder if this is really the reality for many women out there. But to get back to the subject of this video, what I noticed around me, online, and wherever you are looking, it is true that most guys out there don't look good. They don't take care of their appearance. They look rough. And the problem is men are encouraged to look rough. They think that or they were told that that make them look so animal and men. The problem is we live in a society where women have been put under pressure for years about their appearance, what they look like, their age, and the clothes they're wearing. Women are judged really severely on how they look like. In the Western culture, talking about white people, the aging process where the white people are happening really fast. So a woman that is 34 years old already look old. This looking old start already by the age 28. So for many guys, the judge and many guys that are white, they judge a woman that is 35 to be very old. But they've forgotten of a culture, as the black culture and the Asian culture, where people aging really slowly. But the aging process in the white people are faster. And so looking rough, looking run down, looking bad, is more visible in that culture. If you're a guy, you're not really working out, watching what you are drinking, what you are eating, um, how you're living, your clothing. The most guy are not really bothered how they dressed up. There is a lake of style, a lake of elegance. And those guys don't like when they see this kind of survey saying that 95% of women find them unattractive, unstylish. When this is the truth, dare to face the truth by starting by looking at yourself and look around your friends, look around other guys around and you see that this is not just an easy tick on guys complaining about guys this complaint has a source 
Imagine that you are with a woman that take care of herself. Why would she be with a guy that is totally run down? That don't even bother. And on top with this, we have the la crème à la crème, where the guy also have bad attitude. He's disrespectful. Like I mentioned before, this mindset of the red pill are toxifying some of the brain of those guys out there. They believe that the more they behave abusively, bad, don't care, and put in no effort, the more the women are going to chase them. Think for a minute, does this make sense? We need to be coming back to reasonability and reality. That if we want a good relationship for ourselves, following in this crowd of Andrew Tate may not be the best way to have peace at home. Because when you're with your guy friend and you're bitching about women, it may feel good, it feel justified, it feel so mad, adventurous, or whatever. It's laughable. But then, when you go home, if you have a girlfriend, a wife, and this is your mindset, how do you want to have peace and happiness at home when you look at your woman like she doesn't deserve any effort from you? She doesn't even deserve that you try to shave up and clean your teeth and wear in some cologne to try to impress her. Because in this time we're living now, guys think and really believe it. That low, minimal, zero standard and zero effort is the way to go. Yes, they really believe it. The bad attitude. And they think this is attractive. Because somebody out there told them that beautiful women are attracted by guys that treat them bad. For those guys that got a beautiful woman and he treated her bad, she got a problem. You mixed up with a low, low uh, woman that has no self-esteem and it's just a matter of time before the bomb explodes onto you. So I would say, guys, why not make the effort? Why not show yourself at the best light? You're not doing it for a woman. You're doing it for you. Many women out here get to a point we are doing it for herself. And when we walk around, we are getting also assaulted by guys because we did not look at them. So guys, doing the effort, it's not just for the eyes of a woman. But what is it for yourself? Do it for you. Or maybe you don't like to look good. I don't know. But this is the reality. Many guys out there simply do not look good. They don't look stylish. The stylish, you know, um, things about guys are rare. We have the dandy guys. They're really, they really try. But guys that try to dress nice, to also have a nice, good manner, etiquette, good manner, are becoming extremely rare in our society. Stop blaming the woman for everything she said. You're no longer taking what she's saying as maybe there is, a, there is a truth in here. Guys are becoming seriously hard to deal with and becoming also a bit arrogant and abusive, I must say. The red pill mentality are really around and that is extremely unattractive more than anything. If you look good, and you have this attitude, you don't know how to speak, you don't know how to behave, and you are an abuser, that doesn't attract anyone. The only person that's going to attract is somebody sick, somebody with no self-esteem for herself. Most women, she will not feel safe with such a guy. I hope this video today is going to be interesting for you. I thank you so much to have watched your channel Brighter Life Institute with me, Alicia, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!